The queues as the cut price petrol station Waitomo opened its first outlet in the capital. Hamilton based Waitomo opened its first site on the Hutt Road in Thorndon, promising to shake up the fuel industry where motorists have been paying some of the highest prices for petrol. Reporter Harry Locke and video journalist Dom Thomas went out to see if drivers were taking up the offer. Commuters in the capital pay some of the highest prices at the pump. But today, eagle-eyed motorists spotted a new kid on the block. Discount fuel supplier Waitomo offering customers cut price petrol at the launch of its new outlet in Wellington. This driver from Porerua, on her way to Newtown, was one of the first in the queue. I think I started the line. It runs pretty much all over the road and I was there for five minutes and the line started. So it wasn't long at all. I expected a good half an hour wait. However, she got caught out by the site's card-only setup. I didn't bring a card, but this lovely lady's going to help pay for it. I'm going to give her, give it back to her in cash. Why Tomo is promising a dollar eighty-six for ninety-one, a dollar ninety-nine for ninety-five, and a dollar sixteen for diesel for the next two days, and the Caltex just up the road matching it for now. Upper Hut woman Rachel Goff didn't have to pay that today, though. She won the company's one thousand dollar free fuel competition. She says the win will free up some cash just in time for school holidays next week. My daughter wants to go out and do a few things. She's into um, retail therapy, so um, she wants to have a play date with her friends. So we're going to possibly stay the night in a hotel and just do some girly stuff. The extra money also a welcome relief for her partner, who was diagnosed with cancer exactly one year ago. So he was really looking forward to coming out today to be a part of this when we found out yesterday. But unfortunately, he's a bit unwell to come out. So he's a bit disappointed, but I managed to scrape in a friend to be, be a part of it instead. Wyatt Tomo's managing director, Jimmy Ormsby, says they kept an eye on the Wellington market for some time before committing, opening a site in Upper Hutt six weeks ago and today in Thorndon. Twelve months ago, we made made the decision to enter the Wellington region and also we've, we're, we've got plans in place for Christchurch. So, yeah, um, you know, 20 to 30 cents a litre difference was... You know, the impetus for us to enter Wellington. But out of Waiatomo's 60 odd locations, Mr Ormsby says getting this site ready had its uniquely Wellington problems. It was reclaimed land, so there were some contaminants like asbestos and the like that we had to deal with when we dug up and put our tanks in the ground. The uh, water table's quite high here, so there was um, water to deal with and ma manage that, so they're dewatering. Um, there's traffic here because there's a cyclist lane just next door, so we had to manage that as well. The Commerce Commission is currently investigating why prices can be so different across the country. The Minister of Commerce and Consumer Affairs, Chris Farfoy, says the company, which keeps its prices down by having no staff on site, no store and other overheads, will bring a welcome competition to the market. We do think that there are some issues to, look, to be looked at to make sure that Kiwis are paying a fair price at the pump. Um, you know, even today's experience would suggest that um, they could have been getting a better deal before some competition came along. So we're really looking forward to seeing the findings from that. And uh, the final findings will come out uh, in December this year. And I think we'll be able to have a really clear picture of what exactly is happening around our costs that consumers are paying at the pump. Meanwhile, motorists who spotted the opening on Facebook had started to line up before the official opening at midday. For Checkpoint, Harry Locke.